In this video, we're going to talk a bit more about this program and we're going to talk about built-in functions. So again, there will be a lot of lingo, a lot of technical terminology in this video, but you don't have to memorize it or even fully understand it. You'll get used to it gradually as you go through the course. So the first thing that we do in this program is we declare a variable and assign this string to it. In other words, we create this variable and we attach this value to it. If you've used a different programming language like Java or Perl or C++ or whatever, you may have got used to using some kind of word there on the left of the variable to say, look, I'm declaring a variable. But Python doesn't have any such word. To declare a variable in Python, you simply assign a value to it. So in C++, you might type this. In Java, you might type this with a capital letter. In JavaScript, var, in Perl, my, and so on. In Python, there is no special keyword for declaring variables. Then we use this print function to display the text, enter your name. What actually is a function? A function is just a block of code that you can run via its name. We then use the input function to get some text from the user and we assign that text to this variable called name. Now functions in Python can be passed values. So they can, they can be passed values either by giving a literal value to them or giving them some variable that refers to the values you want to pass to them. In other words, we can send some data to a function when we call the function, when we run the function, which the function can then do stuff with. So here's an example where we are passing a string literal to the print function. We are giving the print function some data to work with, namely this. And we call these bits of data that we pass to functions function arguments. Now here we can see an example of a function returning some value to the main program where it was called. So not only can you pass values to functions, you can get values back from functions. We say that functions can return values and here the input function returns whatever text the user types. And we then declare and assign another variable. And then we're just joining some strings together and printing them out with the print function. Now we can change this program a bit. If we take this string here, and I'm gonna cut it from there and paste it into the round brackets of input. Let's get rid of this print. And if we run this now, it does the same thing as before except I can now type my name on the same line as this text. So if you pass a string to input, it will print that text before waiting for the user to enter input. And you're gonna get both the stuff that input prints and the stuff that the user types on the same line. So it behaves more like a sort of a shell. Apart from that, this program works exactly the same as before. So definitely try this out if you haven't already. Try the program out and try doing this. And you might want to see if you can get the program to do something a bit different. Like for example, can you get it to ask the user's age after it asks for their name and then output the age along with their name? Anything you can do to practice at this stage is going to be very useful. So input and print are built-in functions in Python. They're built into Python. We can create our own functions as well, and we're gonna look at that later. You might wonder what other built-in functions there are in Python. Let's go to a web browser and search in built-in functions. I'll search for python.org because that's the most authoritative place to find this list, I think. Here we go. 
So these are all of Python's built-in functions. And again, you don't have to memorize this. By the end of the course, you will have seen and used almost all of these functions. So do try playing around with this a bit and see what you can make it do. This is a free video from my course, Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners. I'm releasing the first couple of chapters of this course completely for free on YouTube to get you started with Python. I plan to upload new videos here to YouTube every Monday and every Thursday for at least a couple of months. If you're interested in the complete course, which teaches you Python from scratch and eventually progresses to things like creating graphical user interfaces and using neural networks, principal component analysis, cluster analysis, all that stuff, and much more besides. Then you can find a link in the description or just go to this URL on the screen right here. If you finish the whole course, you'll be able to write all kinds of general purpose programs in Python and use Python to do machine learning and artificial intelligence as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy coding.